alternating current, you can see that there is an animation of an AC generator down there at the bottom of the screen. And what that is showing, if you've never seen this type of an animation before, what it's showing is a wire coil in the middle spinning through a magnetic field. So there's a magnet, the north and the south poles of the magnet, and as that wire spin cuts through that magnetic field, it is the magnetic induction. So the electromagnetic induction we were talking about on the previous screen, this is how it actually happens, is you can have the magnet spin or you can have the wire spin. It depends on how the generator is designed. But the basic premise here is that we're cutting through this magnetic field and it induces the movement of electricity in our wires. And that movement of electricity is our alternating current. And you can see that red line that's being drawn We've got voltage goes up, voltage goes down, and up and down. That's our sine wave that's created by the spinning motion of our generator. And the blue line, you see it says time. So for example, in the United States, our electricity is generated at 60 hertz. So we have 60 of a complete sine wave, the up and the down, back from the zero, up to the positive, to the negative, back to the zero. We have 60 of those cycles a second. And that is determined by how fast our generator is spinning, as you can see in the bottom of the screen. So alternating current, it goes up and down and up and down, positive, negative, positive, negative. <clears throat> Direct current is different. So this, for example, is PV cell that generates electricity. It generates direct current. It's a one-way charge movement. And if you look at that little diagram animation down at the bottom, you can see that electron the photons of sunlight hit the PV cell, it creates movement in our electrons and they flow out to the load and then back to the source. So also creating electricity, but a different type of electricity. So let's think about this just a little bit more. So we've got alternating current that is generated by utilities. Every utility that I know of generates alternating current. There are some high voltage DC power lines out in the world, but our generation sources are generally speaking, going to be AC sources. We've also got AC generators. You can buy a generator off the shelf at Lowe's or Home Depot to generate alternating current. So the alternating current goes back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. You can see the arrows changing direction here in the light bulb. Direct current is a one-way direct current flow. You can see our arrows are flowing in the same direction from our battery to the light bulb and back. And so direct current is what photovoltaic cells and modules generate. It's also what batteries are going to provide us as a battery source. That's always direct current. And we'll talk about inverters and microinverters and how they can be paired up with modules or batteries, but without an inverter, you are not getting alternating current out of a PV cell or out of a battery. So one thing I want to say about this is that, you know, people will argue about which one is better, which one is safer, why did we choose alternating current as the standard throughout the world? And I think there's some reasons why that happened. But one of the ways that I like to think about this is if you think about something like a jigsaw versus a circle saw and how that you would cut wood with one or the other. If you're not familiar with a jigsaw or a circle saw, a jigsaw has a blade that goes up and down, up and down, and up and down a lot like our alternating current, back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And it cuts through wood just fine. In fact, it does a lot of things that a circle saw can't do. A circle saw spins in one direction, you know, forward spinning blade, just like direct current moves in one direction. And it also works just fine. So a jigsaw and a circle saw, you can think of sort of like alternating current and direct current. They operate differently, but they both get work done effectively. And so I think that you don't really want to go down the rabbit hole of talking about which is better, which is safer, you know, which is easier. Uh, we've got both out in the world now and we know how to use both AC and DC to get work done. And we happen to have standardized on AC for our power generation and transmission through the utility grid. But PV is always going to produce DC and if we want to use it in a house or a building, most of the time we're going to have to convert it to alternating current. And so I think understanding how the differences between AC and DC are important, but we're not 
choosing one or the other. We have to learn how to work with both AC and DC.